Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome. Come and sit with me on Grammy's Quilt. Today, I want you to guess, we're going to speak about a bird that lives all over the world, except in four places. Australia, New Guinea, New Zealand, and Madagascar. It doesn't live there at all. Um, can you think of what a bird might be that wouldn't live in that, those countries? It has a distinct characteristic. It packs against trees to make homes and find food. Can you think of what it might be? A woodpecker, that's right, a woodpecker. There are over 200 species of woodpeckers that live wherever there are trees. They get as big as 20 inches and as small as three or four inches long. They have a long tongue and that tongue is four inches long and that's too long to retract all the way into their mouths. So they wrap the tongue around their skull and that is when it's not in use and that's where it goes. They have, you know they have a common color, and it's white and black and red, and sometimes yellow. They're called omnivores because that means they eat a few insects, some eggs, some seeds and nuts, so that's why they're called omnivores. They have a chisel-like bill used for drilling. And they have some feathers that are very bristly that go right over their nostrils so they don't get wood in their nose. Woodpeckers peck 20 times in a second. That's a second. 20 times in a second. That means that there are over 10,000 to 20,000 pecks in a day. Wow. That's a lot of pet. Do you think that a woodpecker gets headaches from all that pecking? Hmm. No, because they are, God designed them so that they have specially cushioned brains and a bone that keeps their brains very tight in their skull. They have two feet that go forward and two that go back. So they can cling very tight to a tree. In fact, I've got a picture here. And it says, God made the woodpecker. And you see the two um, feet, toes there? And they go two forward, two back. And the big long beak and the long body with the tail it uses for stability. And they like to be vertical like that. They have special feathers in their tails to keep them stable. They have an interesting flying pattern. They have three wing flaps, one, two, three, and then they tuck in for a glide. So it makes them go up and then down, and then up and down. That's an up-down pattern. They are monogamous. That means they have one mate for their whole lives. And they, when the females make eggs, have eggs, they have um, usually two to five eggs. Both the males and the females care for the young. And they live about four, or four to 12 years. In captivity, they can live as long as 20 years. They make a drumming noise to attract mates and set up territories or communicate. They move a lot. They move a lot and are a great carpet. They make neat holes in the trees. It's Cooper, he came to see us today. Um, so when they make these holes in their trees and then they abandon their nests, they leave them for squirrels or other birds or other little small animals. If we have special gifts that 
like woodpeckers have, that they make nests and then they move and leave them for their neighbors, we can share our things that we have with our neighbors too. God made the woodpecker a very unique animal and creation. I hope you enjoyed this.